why do we sometimes hate ourselves? Kind of think about it for a second. Um, I, it's going to be different for everyone, so I'm going to try to be as broad as possible. For me personally, usually you, you hate yourself based off something you did in the past. You're allowing the past to control you. And sometimes it's the opposite. You're allowing someone, someone else's opinion of what they told you in the past to control you, and you slowly hate yourself. And usually, from what I, I've experienced, it's because you've been told something so many times that you start to believe it yourself, so then you hate yourself. Um, sometimes, you know, you might be told, oh, you're fat, or, you know, you're ugly. And at first, you're like, uh, you know, I'm not really that way. But then once you hear it, like, 50 times or more, you kind of start really believing it. So your low self-esteem kind of comes in. And then you start to hate yourself. And then before you know it, you're putting yourself in this bottle that you kind of allowed yourself to go into. And that's where you got to start loving yourself. And what I mean by that is you got to not let anyone's opinion ever affect you. You can't let your past control your present. It's your past. Let your past be your lesson book for your future. Um, if you're allowing your past to control your present, you're still living in the past. And I've done that, and it is painful. Um, I say that because my past is pretty dark. And I chose to go down the path where I went, but I can't live in it now. And if I do, it's just me being stupid and me being just foolish because there's no point of living in something that wasn't good. If I ever reflect back I try to reflect back and I you know try to think of something that was really positive because it makes me more positive in that moment whatever you feed your thoughts it's going to grow so if you feed yourself a little negative it's going to go into your subconscious and come back a little bigger and you keep doing that and doing that before you know it you have your own monster within you that you created um, and then for you to break it you got to start feeding yourself positive thoughts and you gotta rewire your whole entire mindset to be positive. For me, I've been really working on that actually lately. Um, basically, anytime I have a negative thought, I mentally, you know, in my mind say no, and I like yell at myself really hard, and I think of everything positive in that moment of why something could be positive in that. And someone might be like, well, that's gonna make you naive, but it really isn't if you're doing it in a healthy balance. You know, you gotta be obviously living in reality and you don't wanna create a false reality within your mind. But if you're saying, oh, I'm ugly enough and whatnot, that is not true. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you're gorgeous. Why do I say that? Okay, everyone has different preferences when it comes to appearance, but appearance is nothing in anything. Everyone grows old and what happens? You get wrinkled and you get all disgusting, right? I mean, it's just facts. Your soul is what is precious, and that's what you need to hold on to. If someone says you're ugly, that's them being shallow, period. There's no in-between. They're being shallow, and that's just that. If someone looks into you and says, hey, you're gorgeous, that's because they're taking the time to notice something special within you. And that's where you got to hold on to that. If someone ever says something like, oh, you're ugly, don't even respond. They don't deserve a response. It's that simple. Don't feed their ego of thinking they can lower people like that. I used to empower people by doing that and what did it create? It created me to be very low self-esteem oriented and like I kind of more or less like I was saying I created this negative monster within that more or less affected my life all the way across the board. So why do we hate ourselves? It's because we're not viewing what we've been seeing or told positively. Once you start changing your mindset of how you view and perceive stuff, you're going to start seeing a lot of beauty if you're thinking positive. And when you see something negative, I think it's going to raise this passion in you to be like, oh, well, we need to fix this. We need to change this. Because there is ugly things in society. There's things that are disgusting, are hateful, are just like, you know, just horrific. And that is negative, and you know, that is reality. So don't be like, oh, well, that's not, you know, reality. No, that is reality. That's where. If you feel a deep passion within it, do something about it, you know, you cause the cause, you make the cause and you fix it, you try to, and you always do it with love in mind, with morals, with just respect, integrity. You need that because that is what makes society a better place. If you don't put that into your equation of how you approach and perceive stuff, I'm not going to say it's not going to turn out good, but it's not going to turn out as good as it could. And it's a process for me, um, it's literally, I've been three months now on thinking more positive. Like three months of me drilling myself every time a negative thought comes in to be positive. 
imagine, you know, 16 hour days doing that. It's mentally exhausting, but I'm rewiring how I think, rewiring how I perceive stuff. And I'm not naive because trust me, I have been very, very negative. I know negative too well. I'm, you know, some, what, what does it say? Misery loves company. Yeah, that was me for a while. And you don't want that. It doesn't have to be that way. You choose to live in misery by focusing on stuff, which is another video on what focus is. But I'll briefly describe it. Whatever you focus on is going to control so much of your life. But hey, if you like this video, please follow and subscribe and um, share. Of course, share. Thank you.